I'm Dr. Adewali Badru. I'm a medical consultant. And I want to call on the first testifier, Pastor Afrik Igoli from Lagos. Pastor Afrik Igoli had heart failure. Let's be complicated seated. by decompensated heart failure. And uh, when I look at his uh, echocardiography results, it was really, really bad. And as a matter of fact, he told me that they were already planning him for surgery. His saturation has dropped. His injection fraction is so low that uh, that cannot sustain active life. But at the prayer of the man of God, at the prayer of the man of God, all these things were reversed. And Pastor Afrik Igoli is standing beside me tonight to testify of the goodness of the Lord. Let's give a round of applause unto Jesus. And let's sit down, please. We may be seated now. Praise seated. the Lord. I said, praise the Lord. My name is Pastor Afrik Igoli from Old Lagos Island, Aja Group, Ebram Adesanya District, Lagos State, Nigeria. About six months ago, I discovered that I had a lot of inconveniences in my system, in my body. So I thought it was malaria. Because that is the only sickness I knew about that usually, you know, I will experience. So I went for treatment and the team went. I got relieved. But after some months, I discovered that I could not breathe well. I was restless. You know, it was so tough to the situation that they rushed me to the hospital from there. The last hospital where I find myself, I was told that I had heart failure. And actually, it's two pastors that rushed me to that hospital. So I said, it's better they should hear this thing from the doctor. It's too heavy for me to say, tell people that I had heart failure. So that was how I was admitted. Then, by the grace of God, I was in that condition, lying down in the hospital, I have to, if I want to go to the toilet, I will do everything there. But as God will have it, on the 31st of uh, December last year, around about some minutes past seven, I received a call from my group pastor that the GS wants to pray for me. Praise the Lord. And he prayed for me. The following morning, before now, my heart rate was about you know, 136, 134, so the fluctuation was so high that I could not even coordinate myself to talk to people. In fact, my speech, everything was almost gone. But as God will have it, after that prayer on the 31st night, about some minutes past seven, the following morning, you know, I was connected to computer. So as I look at the computer, the heart rate that was around 136, fluctuating to 134, eventually got to 87. Praise the Lord. So the doctors came, the doctors came, and uh, the nurses came, and they looked at it that something has taken place. And they said, something has taken place. We have to discharge you, but let's watch the situation. But as they continued to wash, they discovered that, you know, everything has, you know, reduced to normal. And there's nothing that they could do than to discharge me. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. This is miracle. Praise the Lord. The ah, the failing heart, the decompensated heart has been restored back to normal by Jesus through the prayer of the man of God, the next testifier. The next testifier has been suffering from what we call in medical uh, balance as carpal tunnel syndrome. That is when your 
your, some part of your fingers will be becoming numb. And you may not be able to feel even if they begin to use pain to prick you. And you will not be able to use that hand because of some nerves that is being compressed structurally. And the only solution to solving that problem most times is to relieve that compression through surgery. But the testifier tonight received miracle because the tunnel syndrome is relieved. Life is back to that hand right now. Please, can you share your testimony? Praise the Lord. My name is Bosta Adebinkwe from Egbaida region. I've been suffering from carpal tunnel syndrome. I, was, I will be having numbness. My fingers will be divided in between. So I will have numbness in the two last fingers. And the other three fingers will be working for almost a year now. In fact, sometimes it's difficult to write. But when I, in the night, the numbness will be so bad. That I will wake up as if the two fingers are no more there. I mean, on, the, on bilateral, on the two sides of the hand. I googled it, I went to the orthopedic surgeon. He said I should know now that it will only be released by a, a surgery. So I said, any other alternative, he said I should go for a wrist brace. But I blessed the Lord because I was feeling that how would I be sleeping with wrist brace on both hands? But yesterday when we came, I specifically wrote it in my request and I prayed. When I got home, in the night I slept, I woke up. I, there is a test we used to do for the Tunnel syndrome. We, if I drop my two hands, within 60, uh, 60 seconds, there should be numbness on the tip of the fingers. But I've been trying it since yesterday. In fact, I've tried it several. People sitting by my side can, say, can testify. And I'm no more feeling the numbness. Praise Put your hands Lord. together for Jesus. God be a CEO of show. CEO Olorua o ma se o e ji Olugba la o ma se o e ji Praise the Lord The next testifier is this 87 year old woman Fagbor of Grace somewhere She's been having a medical condition that we could describe as deep vein thrombosis. That is when blood gets clotted inside the vessels. That thing is a killer. It's a silent killer. It will just be showering and be showering. And these are one of those things that causes uh, sudden death. But the Lord has touched this mama beside me tonight. The deep vein thrombosis is clear from the result of ultrasonography that is kind they couldn't find deep vein thrombosis anymore and most times what normally causes this is when there are some when there are some occult cancer eating cancer and the mama will give her testimony now mama is okay okay Praise the Lord. Okay. Praise the Lord! God has touched this 87 year old woman. She's healed. Listen to another testimony. But please make your testimonies uh, simple and straightforward. We have a lot to listen to tonight. 
Let our medical consultant please just summarize and let the testify. Praise the Lord. Of the, story. the next testifier is Mrs. Fowota De Omolola. She's been having abdominal pain and fissures that looks like urinary tract infection. And she's been having all manners of distress. But she testified that at the prayer of the man of God, she was healed. Please kindly summarize what God did. Praise the Lord. Mudupalo wa loro. Igbati mo gbo ni pa iso oruko mi ni Mrs. Fowotade omo lo la mu wa lati adugo Olorun shogo nbe yen. Igbati mo gbo ni pa iso ji. Inu mi dun pe mo ma wa. But igba to di ana ti iso ji yen ma bere. Bi inu yen se bere si ni irun mi ni yen. Ah, iye kekere ni mo pe. O de di nkan to di pe mi le gbe ese otun yi. Eruba mi mo bere si ni ji ni le. Suruwa mami kan soro igbagba oni mami mi ede ti le ma lo si soji esu o fe ke lo ni o e je ka try lati lo mo sa gbiyanju mo wa si bi soji yi lana mi igbadun soji yen rara tori inu yen bu mi sogiji mo ri pastor kan to nkoja mo ni ko mo mi ba mi sare pe daddy yen boya tan ba ti e pray for me boyo ma relieve me but daddy yen ni pe ki ni gbagbo ni pe awon o le wa pray for me mo tun dinu yen mu tan fi ti mo fi lo si ile lana but try to oru mi igbadun inu yen sugbon pe mo le wa isoji yen lai ni pe nkan kan leni igba ti baba bere si ni gbadura lana pe gbo tan daruko gbogbo cancer gbogbo nkan edo ton bere si ni so mo dinu yen mu ti mo nse ami kikan kikan mo dupe lowo olorun leni tori gba keta tinu yen ma se mi ni ojo ana yen ojo ekoko to ma koko se mi won ni pe ki nkuro ni lu badan igba to dojo keji oru ni mo pe ran si olorun kan lori phone loru awon na pray fun mi to olorun fi gba mi but lana yen iran si olorun ti mo pe won ni ki nsa fi igbagbo mi si inu igba ti baba ba pray mo ni mo si gbagbo mi si be mo dupe lowo olorun pe lai je pe mo lo ogun tabi mo pe eni kankan olorun de ba mi se ogun yen ni ana ogun ni fun olorun we praise god almighty for this woman who has been suffering from very mysterious uh, stomach trouble has been there for some time and she couldn't control herself whenever the pain came upon her but tonight after the prayer of the man of god she became well the ache disappeared and now she's thanking the lord god almighty put your hands together for jesus christ praise the lord this young lady beside me has been battling with low back pain and waist pain at the prayer of the man of god the pain disappeared please share your testimony praise the lord my name is Adebaya Rachel. I come from Akinyele Local Government, four group of districts. My uh, sickness, start, my problem started last year, February. I was in the school, so they said we should stand up. I was there standing, and all of a sudden there was a sharp pain in my waist. So the sharp pain caused a lot of um, problem for me. I can't bend very well. I can't do anything like that. So after that, um, this uh, last year november i was in my uh, place of work and i was standing all of a sudden the pain came again so i sat down my boss was like why are you sitting every time why are you sitting so i did not pay any attention to that i leave the problem so we are coming to the crusade ground today i was inside the bus standing the pain came again so it was severe to the extent that when i came to the crusade ground i was I was sitting at the back there, and it caused a low uh, pain. It caused a low, um, my lower abdomen is paining me severely. So after the prayer of the man of God, the, uh, the pain went off. I can't feel any pain again. Praise the Lord. Testifier 
Receive instantaneous flank pain healing. Mr. Olainka Fasoy, please share your testimony. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Motukolo Olonu, it's a request, Mr. Vasi, it be so G, Tabangbayi, Olong Bazakoso, Bobo, Beton Romi, Ati Bobo Arato Romi. Kinto wa diko mo di ento wa si ba 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 soji tan tan se ni lo lo ba yi mo diko lo lo nko e lo ngba ta koso bo bo egbelido bo bo egbelido bo bo egbelido bo bo lo lo nti ba ngu san ba kata praise the Lord praise the Lord Hallelujah praise the Lord This man has been suffering from a, a very terrible pain that has caused him paralysis and could not walk freely without the aid of stick. But tonight, after prayer, he was released. The pain vanished. As you can see him now, he's walking, not using the stick anymore. Now let's visit the online uh, platforms and hear what the Lord has done for the people there. The social media now, over to you. Great things are happening. The power of God is powerful every evil and perfect soundness is coming to the people. Let's bring you some testimonies coming from the social media. We'll take you to Indiana, USA. We have Moses who have been down with arthritis and sciatica. Sciatica, according to um, medical doctors, it's a kind of disease that um, gives you pains all from the lower back through the hips, down the buttocks and each leg. And according to the testimony, he's been feeling this pain along with arthritis. But after the prayer of the man of God, he got his complete freedom. Praise the Lord. And we have another one from Olubade Ezekiel. Olubade says he wants to thank God because he had been healed of diabetes and open doors that he never expected has happened just after the prayers of the man of God last night. This is coming from my degree here in Nigeria. This person, Melody John, is testifying of the goodness of God, celebrating victory and freedom over peptic ulcer of 20 years. According to him, he said it all began when he was in school, but after the prayers of the man of God, the same person who couldn't stay without food for two hours now can stay without food for a day. Peptic ulcer of 20 years completely disappeared. Total freedom celebration indeed. And now we'll take you to Rivers State, South South Nigeria. Rivers Live. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. My name is Sister Nancy Omini Okoy. I am from Rumodara Old Group, Oriawa Group, Oriawa District, West African, Nigeria. I want to thank God for what the Lord has done for me. 2020 October, I had to organize my youth in the school where I work. I was asking them to go off to organize them. All of a sudden, I noticed a sharp pain at this leg region. I felt it was normal. It continued. At a point, I can no longer bait cold water at this particular area because if I do, the pains are severe. It continued till this last year, October, it became so bad that I cannot walk. If I sit, if I need to stand, I have to support myself. At a point, I began to use the band on my leg so that I could feel myself not having shock that could go to my head or to my body. At a point, they began to say, is arthritis? And I'm like, how can I have arthritis at this young age? No, because I'm someone who likes to dance, jump, and be lively. I don't believe in dull moments. So as I came here last night, I just sat around there. When the man of God said, lay your hands where it's paining you. I said, well, God, you know how painful this thing is. A lot of people know how I've been trying to bend my leg to walk around. As I laid my hands, while the man of God was still praying, I felt a sharp, 
cold sensation down to that region instantly. I'm not saying later on, instantly the pain ceased. I was like, wow, is that true? Okay, let me go and check. So I went back home. Usually when I sleep and I wake up, I can't stand up. If I do, the pain is going to my brain. I wouldn't know myself. I feel like collapsing. But since this morning I stood up, I have not felt that pain. In fact, I came for the early morning uh, minister's conference. I was called upon at the back side where I thought nobody would notice me to go and sob. Guess what? I was sobbing everybody, carrying the drinks, the water, running up and down. I was like, whoa, this God is good. I'm here to return all glory to him because he's an awesome God as a way maker. He is the bomb of Gilead. Praise the Lord. Little territory, Abuja live. Praise the Lord. My name is Victor Yakilome from Abuja. I want to appreciate the name of the Lord for what he did for me. On Thursday, I went to Wuse. I was trying to cross the road, and then a car that was parking reversed back and hit me. So I had my peace. I left the place. So I got back home. I was in pain in my right leg. So I got to the program that Thursday. After the prayer of the man of God, the Lord healed me. Though I spoke to my friend, I was like, it was a different thing. What I was asking for has not been done, but a different one has been done. So I quickly remember that in my quiet time, the Lord was speaking to me on complaining. So immediately, I pleaded for mercy. So there was a brother that came to share testimony that same day. When he was sharing the testimony, due to the fact that I knew the brother, I was so happy. And I celebrated with him. And the pain was still there even after I made that complaint. While that brother was sharing his testimony, I was happy. I noticed the pain was not there to the fact that I was celebrating with the brother. And up to now, I can't even tell when the pain disappeared again after the prayer. Praise Christ. Amen. 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 Now, please, those of us still having testimonies, we may have to reserve you till tomorrow. But if you can give them simply, straightforward, we will not have to reserve you till tomorrow. So we get two more people, striking ones. Uh, this is Mercy at ABC. She's been battling with scabies. Scabies a skin rashes and infection that is uh, uh, complicated with nauseating itching. God healed her instantaneously at the prayer of the man of God. Praise the Lord! Praise the Lord. I am by name Messi Olua from Ito Adebisi from Kamzion Center, DLCF, Ogumosho region. Last year, September, I attended the STMC in Ibadan. Speak and louder. By the louder. time I got home, I noticed that I was having itching. My body was itching me and all it was severe. I changed my bathing soap. I changed my cream. But it still continued. I was having blisters on my body. So by that time, I told my mom. And by November or so, when she saw that I was complaining, she had to take me to the doctor. And the doctor told me that it was scabies. He recommended a... A cream like that that I should buy and use. I started using it, but somehow it would relieve me and it will still continue. Eventually, the thing left. But before the December edition of the Global Crusade, I discovered that the itching was coming back again. So during the Global Crusade, I had to just tell God that God healed me totally. Affliction was not rise the second time. I just told God to kill the parasites totally. And some way, somehow, I just realized that the itching had stopped. Praise the Lord. Number two, this evening, I had reasons to hold my urine because I waited to be interviewed for the testimony. So I was so pressed. By the time we were released, and I went to ease myself. I was having serious pain. It was difficult for me to walk. So I managed to come here. We listened to the message. The pain was still there. But somewhere be during the counseling section and the prayer section, I was healed. The pain is gone. Praise the Lord. This 
woman will be the last testifier. The other testifiers, please keep your testimonies intact. And then tomorrow, by the grace of God, in the evening time, you will be the first on the line by God's grace. Please, our information specialists help us write down their testimonies and their names. They will testify tomorrow by God's grace. So let's listen to this woman and then we'll stop. Praise the Lord. Mrs. Osumo Fun Lola has been battling with left elbow pain and swelling. And she could not wash. She could not do the normal half chaos. But at the prayer of the man of God in this crusade, the swelling, the pain disappear. Let's hear her out. Praise the Lord. Ogu kwa mi ni Oshumo Olufu Milona. Owo, ibi ba oti ndu mi, oti kwa gong. Lati bo leti wa? Eh, ade kwa la, ni moti wa. Ni se lea koko ni be. So oti ndu mi, oti kwa gong. Mo ki fi le eshe koko. Oma mba me kwa mi ni. Ni di zemba 25 gong, ti moti estre zara mpe muda no. Emi kwa ni mojo nje nye. So, oko mo de se anand. O na wogun ti mo man lo. O wa so fun mi kpe to ba di. As in last week. Mpe mo man ni lati lo share history o wanyi. Mo de so fun ko mo ni kinje ko un de. O ma ti ti ending of this month. O ma de mpe mo man lo she. So, anota wa ni. Puse di mbi bai. Ti wani kamad ba dura. Mi, fa wasi be. Mi kwa fa wasi nu mi ni. Bo ba ti mo de le. O mo min so fun mi. Biko man lo gun. To ba ti da le vayin. O mo min so fun mi. Mami, why can't you touch that hand? When Daddy Kumuyi was put, instead of you to touch that place, money will not come with simple jari. So, but she was there. Ni, mo sha for zara milati no one ye, because me see I finish me in the fish egg she kokon, but mo for zlati no one ye. Mo sha she buy, mo she buy, but that one mafit badu aton. Mo you pa one ye ti lo le. Mo wa for zlati lo ji omo mi bito susi. Inpe o one ye ti lo. O ni mo o ni ro ni. Money by me, tell you, because me, he left for work. Oh, my, yet the old thing you go more on it. Me, if he pays the cocombe, praise the Lord. Put your hands together for Jesus Christ. She's been suffering from a pain, excruciating in the arm, left arm, almost leading to paralysis. But after the prayer tonight, the pain vanished and the paralysis gone, and she could lift it up and down and walk with it. God is so good to us. Praise the Lord. Amen. Tomorrow is day number three. Don't forget the Trinity. God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Number three tomorrow will be absolutely fantastic and terrific. Make sure you come early. You will receive something from the Lord because it's the day for the Trinity. Let's rise up together and thank the Lord God for all that has done for us tonight, for salvation, for healing, for deliverance, for all his goodness and mercy. We give him the glory, give him the honor, give him the adoration. Father, we thank you tonight for all that you have done for us. Thank you for your presence. Thank you for the manifestation of your power to save, to heal, and to deliver. Father, we pray that all these manifestations will be permanent in our lives in Jesus' name. All those who have stayed back till now, Father, we pray add more miracles to them as they go. In Jesus name we pray O oh Lord God for our father in the Lord that you refresh him for tomorrow which is the third day the day of the Trinity let tomorrow be greater than today in Jesus name and for us we believe it shall be as we are told thank you father we go go with us let your presence be over your people Glory be to your holy name, for in Jesus' 
mighty name we pray. Amen. 